So what happened, Destiny, is I gave you, I gave you the money for those cars. Absolutely. So I see you. I see you. You took to your social media. You took to your social media and you said, happy Thursday, y'all. Thanks for confirming. Thanks for confirming what I already said and that I helped you. Absolutely. Hashtag gaslighting. Oh, gaslighting. Okay. Hashtag old trick. Uh, who you calling a trick? Because uh, I, can, I can get you fired. Absolutely. I am a producer on the show. This is my concept. Okay. You are on uh, my platform. Okay, you can be cool with my ex all you want to, but remember, okay, but remember, I'm the one that started the show. I am the Nene Leaks of the show. Absolutely. You got anything you want to say, mama? I don't do ghetto melody. I, I just, I don't do ghetto. Destiny is bitter melody because she could never keep up with you. You know, she couldn't even keep her electricity on, you know, it, without needing some type of assistance. And you assisted her in her time of need. And, and this is how she treats you. You know, so I just never liked Destiny. She never had a pleasant attitude, you know. And, um, you know, just you got to leave her and those like her in the streets, okay? That's why she is over there with uh, Wanda's daughter, Letitia. You know, they are simply low-hanging fruit and melody. I said they are low-hanging fruits. Absolutely. I, I see what you're saying, Mama, but I, I will never make the same mistake again. I will never try to be friends with the people that are friends with my ex, okay? She has always been Martel's friend, even though, even though I... I never heard him talk about her, and we had been married for all those years, and he he never mentioned Destiny's name, and it's just so convenient that, you know, she popped up out the blue. When she popped up out the blue, you know, living in Huntsville and, you know, taking um, the barbecue through, you know, all types of trials and tribulations. I will let him, you know, speak his piece when he comes out. But um, anyways, you know, uh, Destiny, I try, you know, for so long, you know, to be a good friend to you. But, you know, you try to take advantage of me. You try to get with my enemy. Yes, enemy, uh, Miss Latifa. Um, you know, the girl that copy and paste all of, you know, what I'm doing. And she literally just copies my identity. That way she will have one of her own. Absolutely. So you keep doing that, Destiny. Destiny, I'm going to need for you to put your hands behind your back. Okay, this is another arrest. You know the drill. Okay, put your hands up. No grabbing for car keys. No trying to get a piece of chicken from the barbecue. We want to see you, gal, with your hands up. You can't be out here lying. Okay, on your employer. Okay, that is deplorable behavior, gal. Ah, shut up, Sheriff. Leave Destiny alone. Okay, so what? So what? She been out here running pillar to post selling the damn lottery tickets. So what? So what? She took advantage of Melody. And my boy, he cheated on Melody because she thinks she better than somebody. She thinks she run Love and Marriage Huntsville, okay, ever since she kicked Wanda off. Okay, I just, I can't stand that, that heifer. Okay, think she better than everybody. That's why don't nobody on the whole damn cast like her. Okay, they are all friends with my boy. Okay, concentrate on passing the damn builder's license test, heifer.
Absolutely not, Miss Marlene. I will not be passing any tests for your raggedy son. Absolutely. So, honey, Melody, she, you know, she explained what happened with the car situation. So, apparently, honey, she was giving Destiny the money to rent cars for her. That's what you're supposed to do for your good friend, right? That was doing so much for you. So, I don't, but Destiny, that, yeah, you helped her, but she still had to pay. Now, real help would involve cash. I mean, I'm just saying, you always receive it. Why the hell you ain't give it? I mean, I'm just saying, listen, I want to see what some people think about all of this. So, one person says, Destiny is jealous because Melody is living the life she believes she should be living. Everything Melody does, she succeeds at, and Destiny can't stand it. Another person says this friendship is done. Another person says Destiny is so corny. Mel never denied Dusty helped. Mel just shared the details. Dusty omitted. Another person says Destiny is the queen of half-truths. Another person says Destiny wanted to give the impression that Melody was financially dependent on her at one point, but that was untrue. At this point, I'm ready for Destiny to be off my screen. Like I told you, she got Miss Van who be closing these million-dollar deals and her brother that's well off, you know? So it's just like, I just don't believe that Melody just needed this girl like this. Yeah, you may have got the cards for her, right? But, yeah, I don't think um, she needed you like uh, that, okay? What you think, Miss Van? Oh, do do the ghetto, honey, okay? I just, I'm just not gonna do it with these hood boogers. Destiny is the only person who would scream about helping someone and leave out the details that Mel paid her credit card bill to even be able to help. Dusty is a loser. Girl, this is not good, honey. The people dragging you, girl. Okay, the people is dragging Destiny, honey. What y'all think of this? Okay, I knew it was something more, you guys, to the story. I knew it. Destiny is a horrible liar, and Melody laughing at the rental car had me laughing because my older sister did the same thing. She then returned their car, and the police came to her home. Another person says, the question that should be posted to the CEO of Madani is what happened with her friendship with Belinda. All her interviews put her friendship with Melody on the table, Melody cut her off as she should have. Absolutely. Now, why did B. Sanders cut her off is what I want to know. Ooh, child. Maybe she couldn't keep up uh, with Belinda, honey. I mean, I'm just saying, listen. Another person says, I think the difference is Dusty made it seem that she was financially responsible and it was because Mel was on the do not rent list because in the past she would keep the cars longer than she should from Enterprise. She had the money to rent her own car, but she could not use her name at the Enterprise. And Dusty also lied about the amount of money Mel gave her. Another person says, child, Destiny is the queen of starting in the middle. So a lot of people feel like, you know, Melody has been vindicated, you know, by, you know, Destiny, you know, trying to put her out there as being a bad friend that, you know, they did for each other. We see each other. It wasn't a one-sided friendship. But Destiny, you got to watch out for that. You got to watch out for... You know, all these people, they they poured into you. They gave you money. And and when they have emergencies, you know, you're not even all the way there for them. You kind of half-stepping. And you coming out with these half-truths, trying to make yourself look good. You know, and girl, don't do it. Okay? 
So another person says there's no going back for these two. And it's just as well. Destiny is not a friend. She's got a million different stories. The virgin she told Dr. Heavenly suggested that she paid a rental car for Mel because Mel had no credit. I believe that's the version Mel heard and was responding to it. It was clearly a lie. I, uh, yeah, I believe that. So another person says, no, they will never be in a good place. It's not just about the rental car situation between Destiny and Melody. Destiny betrayed Melody in several ways. She talked about Melody behind her back, stated she wasn't a good friend and disrespectful to Miss Van, posted her children at Martell's B-Day dinner with coleslaw. The list goes on and on. In my opinion, Destiny was never a true friend. Yeah, I wouldn't have been anywhere near that side chick. I'm sorry. I don't give a damn if she here for forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. I wouldn't have nothing to do with her. Bitch couldn't get a hello out of me. Every time I see that heifer, it'd be... <laughs> Look, I'll pronounce the H, honey, but she wouldn't get no other letters. Okay, the only letters you get is the letters inside chick. How you doing, squirrel? Okay. <laughs> Stay off my grass, please. <laughs> Who was that? Stanley from Friday. Stay off the grass, please. <laughs> Honey, I used to have an uncle. He was just like Stanley off of Friday. I remember I had to, you know, go to his house so he could fix my car. His ass one wasn't even a mechanic, but shit, I made him one after he fixed one problem. Honey, I kept coming it back hell yeah for the free 99 but yeah i remember one time i went to his house he was like brandy i'm like what's up um uh i don't appreciate you you know parking all on my grass you know i am trying to grow it and you know i am trying to grow fruits and vegetables i said nigga you ain't about to do shit just crazy as hell he used to give me and my brother uh, a dollar and then like he would see us six months later you still got that dollar i get motherfucker i didn't spend that shit listen give me some more money to spend just old cheap ass nickel but honey sad case sad case honey shout out to aunt leola but yeah that nigga lost his i used to be looking at him like mm 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 child ain't got the sense that god gave me <laughs> oh child my uncle was crazy child and that uncle had an obsession honey with white women i remember one time i was grown and he was like you got any uh white friends brandy you know i, I like white i said you don't want no sister red beans and rice then miss her okay he said no he's sick of you have <laughs> He know the uh the black women, honey, ain't gonna put up with that chicken. Well, some white ones too, honey. They ain't gonna put up with it either. Okay. Oh, oh, another person says Destiny has been big mad ever since Melody revealed she paid for her water bill or whichever utility that was had the disconnection notice posted on her house. Melody stayed quiet about helping Destiny with that. She only revealed it because Destiny kept going around bad mouth and mail talking about she was a bad friend. Yeah, I told y'all all these people. Melody, Stormy, Latifa, Marcia, all of them. Mel ain't a good friend. She is never accountable. Look at the row of us that she did wrong. You know, they feel like they got strength in numbers, right? Miss Betty, she can't stand Melody. Hook headed. You know, he can't stand her. He the biggest hater ever. Okay. Type of shiggity is that? But yeah, you know you that bitch when everybody mad, honey. That's what I have to remind myself. <laughs> Shit, I have to remind myself. Listen, why the people mad at Miss Robinson? She ain't did nothing. Listen, I'm an angel. Oh, let's talk about Sonny. Now, Sonny is still dragging Destiny. Girl, why? Okay, why? You got the man. You picked up the ball and you scored. Okay, and guess what, though? Guess what? It's going to come right back on you. That man go cheat on you, lie to you. All the shit that you're doing to Destiny to try to, like, one-up her and dog her because 
I don't care what any of y'all say she is jealous. Well, what she got to be jealous about? You would be surprised. You ain't got to have a lot of money in the bank. You ain't got to be rich. Okay, people will be jealous. Okay? She may be jealous of uh, Destiny's resilience, honey. Okay, I mean, I'm just saying, but Destiny is beautiful. She always makes sure she put together. And that's something that Sunny just doesn't have. She... She don't have that, and she know it, and Moses knows it, okay? Catch, okay? Catch that. That's the part, but y'all feel like, well, Sonny went in, and she got the man in the ring. That ain't shit. They'll do that. They'll do that, but give it some time, now, okay? Give it some time, okay? This is the honeymoon phase, Okay, and then he go have the, I'm about to take this bitch through their face. Okay, and, and that will be, that will be coming up, Sonny. So you, you and your forehead, get ready for it. Now, anyways, honey, Sonny, honey, took to her social media, honey, and put, um, Bitter Betty. Is that it again? She was talking about Destiny. I'm about to break my silence and let them know why your ex-husband, honey, left you since you can't seem to keep our names out of your mouth. Girl, she's going to talk about y'all. Y'all came on the show that, well, she wasn't technically on it, but she was a castmate to this show. She's going to talk about y'all. Y'all been talking shit to her. Y'all been throwing your whole fake ass marriage in this girl's face. You think she ain't gonna say shit? Okay, like Sunny girl, Sunny, you lost. Okay, I know you think you winning, you and your low self esteem, but girl, you lost. Okay, you going and make uh Moses some flashcards, and you know y'all work that shit out. But yeah, girl, you lost because the people said I surveyed the people. I did check. And the people said, you lost that argument with uh, Destiny. Destiny had your ass when she said, it ain't nothing real in this. I said, get her. This ain't real. Destiny had me uh, when she told Sonny, uh, no, I don't want to talk. I was like, get her. <laughs> okay, like, girl, y'all be, oh, so nasty and so rude, honey. Okay. Hashtag it's about to get real. Hashtag I was trying to spare you. Girl, you ain't gonna do shit. You or your forehead, Moses, nothing. Okay. But yeah, she's jealous of Destiny. I could tell by the aggressive energy. Whenever somebody, especially a woman, is being aggressive with you ladies and you did nothing to her and the bitch that did so much to you, she jealous. That's it that's it i'm just saying but he married some, girl did what did i tell y'all about my married co-workers okay and i had a married boss at one point trying to flirt with me in front of the damn wife yeah they ain't got no shame so shit that marriage shit that don't mean shit okay don't nobody care but the picnics Okay, that's bragging about they little uh bubblegum ring, honey. Yeah, he put a ring on it. You got a big ass green stain too on your finger. Tell the people about that. But let me see what the people uh think about all this. Uh so one person says so destiny doesn't want her business out for her son to be exposed to, but she's okay with making male look a certain way and she has children hypocrisy at its finest how, no look how melody get into this listen we're just talking about her but we're not talking about her right now so one person says i hope sunny tells everything what do you know about her and la barbecue what do you know you wasn't even on the show back then okay so because i truly believe she cheated on her husband what if that no destiny girl you better get a handle uh, on this scandal. Like Funky Dineva said, honey, don't let these people spray you with your own tea. If you cheated on a Chick-fil-A sandwich, you need to tell the people, okay? You need to tell the people. Did you run into a man that had better chicken than uh, the Thanksgiving dinner? I mean, LaBarrick. See, see, I, I know his name, okay? See? But I'm just saying, listen... 
So another person says, I can't wait to hear what happened. Destiny is on a lying campaign. Another person says, why is Destiny blaming Sonny? A man goes after what he wants. Moses pursued Sonny to get on TV to try to get back at Destiny while he looking Destiny all up and down. and He was still screw the brakes off of Destiny. Don't let him fool you. But he didn't make her um, his uh, wife. She don't want to be his wife if he ain't going to act right. I need you ladies to get this. Because I think some of y'all are just so desperate on the title and the ring. We don't care about that. If you are with a narcissistic man, if you are with a man that is unstable in all his ways, he out here being a hoe on the go, okay, he out here being friendly with everybody, that's not a good man, a man that's codependent and needy and all way, well, he was dating, no, he was probably screwing everything left and right, but he chose me, he may have chose you, because he know you the dummy that's gonna fall for all of this, I'm telling you, Moses got so many red flags, destiny dodge a bullet trust me but i just want to know what she messing with moses and that husband at the same time is that why he decided to leave so another person says why destiny doesn't tell the truth about her divorce and what really happened another person says i don't blame sunny nor mail enough is enough destiny can talk about herself her new endeavors her new products her getting on TikTok, her new love life, arrest, who forged LB's name, podcast, and etc. Dusty, what do you have going on? Dusty came back, still the same bum that she left the show being. And before the interview, what? Before the interview, she can let them know, make the interview about me because I already spoke on the sunny situation and my friendship with Mel. This is the problem. They know Dusty don't have nothing going on, so they have to ask her about other people. Ooh, y'all just be dragging that girl. Okay? So another person says, so because Sonny used to be Destiny's producer, she should sit back and allow Destiny to talk trash about her and also lie about her character. First off, Sonny is wrong because Sonny is speaking on shit that she wasn't there for. You wrong when you do that. You wrong when you're saying, well, Moses was with this person. Were you there? But he said his, his word is bond. You're going to just go off of his damn word? Okay, don't stop being a damn fool for a man. But this could be my husband. Okay, it's your husband. Now shut the fuck up and get back to work, shit. You talking about this lady. You so busy trying to throw your marriage or marriage. Okay, because I ain't even going to give y'all the, <laughs> the, cor- the correct uh, pronunciation, honey, of marriage. You got a marriage. Okay, like some other people on the show that will remain nameless, uh, Marceau and Latifa. I mean, I'm just saying, listen. Okay, I'm here to tell y'all, confidence is quiet, okay? Being confident, being um, clear, being in love, all of that wants to be free of drama, and normally when you in love, you self-absorbed and you happy and you, this seems so much like, yeah, we about to get this bitch, bring her down a few levels. She ain't nothing but a side chick. I'm the wife. Sonny couldn't wait to say that. But Sonny is very insecure. She don't, she don't have the confidence that Destiny has. Yes, Destiny finds herself in all these sticky situations, but she looks good while doing it. We got to give it to her. And Sunny girl, you look like you was in the witness pr- protection program at Stormy's event. You and Trish, y'all look like y'all was looking for the nearest exit. You look out of your element. You look like you tell Moses what to think, what to eat, what to drink. Shout out to Nene Leaks. That's the nature of the relationship. That's what it looks like. It does not look like love. It, to me, it seemed like you're trying to overcompensate for something that's fake, for something that's not going to last. 
for something you don't even believe in. Because if you really believed about, you know, if you really had strong convictions and beliefs about your marriage to Moses, you wouldn't be acting like an attorney trying to convince everybody of what happened way back then. You wouldn't speak on shit that you don't know nothing about. Y'all love speaking on shit, low-hanging fruit. Hear me out. Y'all love speaking on shit so you can try to control a certain narrative. That way you can conveniently believe that narrative. You need to put somebody down to lift yourself up. That's a coward that moves like that, and I don't respect it. Now, I may not like Destiny, but I don't like Sunny either. Because even Heavenly noticed how, you know, how nasty she is. There's no sensitivity on how Destiny used to be with this man. It's just, he's with me now, bitch, get over it. I'm here to throw it. Don't do that to another woman. I promise you, you will eat your words. You will eat your actions at a later date. Okay? Somebody says, Dusty Destiny is a pathological liar using Sonny, Moses, and Melody for a storyline. She has never spoken about why her ex-husband divorced her. Destiny needs to exit the show, sick of her and her lies. Sonny and Moses are married. Get over it, Dusty Destiny. Y'all act like, oh, she's just so dusty, and don't do that. Okay, don't don't just say she, she just Dusty Destiny. She do... She do be lying, <laughs> okay, because I caught it. But, you know, Sonny and them, they ain't no better. Moses, he don't, I'm here to tell y'all, when y'all got a real man that love you, he don't want you a part of all this drama. He not going to be sitting up there smiling and laughing after you get all wore out, you know, uh, <laughs> going back and forth with Destiny. Honey, Moses had a big smile after Sonny was wore out. And here goes Sonny. Yeah, that went well. No, it didn't. She had, she had your ass. Destiny got your ass together. And you did not like it. Because you, in your mind, you've told yourself you're better than Destiny. And you're not. Okay? But, um, let me see what somebody else got to say. Funny how she want to keep her divorce a secret but wanted to put male business out there how sad we all know she was cheating with martel and moses now she is the victim of anything for airtime so anyways you guys i'm about done with this uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe i am your girl brand new and i will check you guys out in the next video